I dub thee Sir Jeffrey. Jeffrey was a suggestion inside of the comments from a friend of mine, as well as one of the creators of some of the fantastic banner and background art that is presented on my channel. So thank you, Jeff, as well as welcome to the family, Jeffrey. Hi -ya! Hey, hey, welcome back, everybody. Episode 4 today on our Survival Hardcore Let's Play. We are starting the episode today right outside of the location of our new barn. We need to uh, get this cracking. That way we can get our enchanting table constructed and start enchanting some of our gear. So I went ahead and cleared out all this space here. I don't think it's going to be quite this big, but this will give us an ample opportunity to expand on new projects as we need to. And uh, we can just continue to grow on from there. So let's begin construction here. This isn't going to be too huge, but we need to make it large enough to where we can fit multiple breeds of different animals. So let's get this going. That's good. All right, can you see my vision yet? So this is kind of what I'm thinking. Uh, I know it's pretty large, but you know, all in all, it's one, two, three, four, eight stables. I think it'll be just fine. I think that'll be plenty enough to store away a couple pigs, a couple cows, you know, etc. And uh, yeah, I think this is a great start. So let's keep moving on. Yes, I think this is coming together really nicely. So this is going to be each individual stall here. So that'll just continue the roof pattern across. And we might add a few little touches here and there, but that's going to give us a general idea of what we're working with. I'm going to go ahead and start uh, framing this up with some fences now. All right, starting to come together pretty well there. Uh, I've got uh, the vast majority of this mirrored from one side to the other and from the uh, front to the back. So I'm just going to keep filling this in here. And then once I get it completely mirrored over, I need to do just a little bit more work over here. You see, I'll, uh, I'm missing just a little bit here. As soon as I get that other side completed and trimmed up, then I'm going to go ahead and start uh, working on the roof section on either side of the wings of the barn here. I think that that'll be the, uh, the smartest thing to do. We'll complete this slant going up and that'll give us a good mark on where we need to stop this roof and continue it up for the final portion uh, for, the, for the rafters up here and such. So we're gonna go ahead and crack on with that now. All right, what do we think for this one half? Let's take a look. Yeah. Yeah, I can get on board with that. Okay. So I think with some slight modifications, we can definitely uh, give this just a little bit more character, but that's a really good place to start. It's a little bit raised in the center from the outside trim, which I really like. Got a little bit of uh, character to it. So yeah, let's go ahead and mirror that over to the other side. Then we'll work on building up our sides that are going to eventually lead to the top of the roof there. All right, so I need to come across here and start squaring off these edges. Because I know at some point here in the roof, 
I'd really like to have a couple windows that overlook and they don't have to be anything except aesthetics just to let some natural light in so I'm gonna go ahead and see what we can do about that here all right we've got that sealed in there all completed what do we think here I think we get up on top and we begin to finish the curvature of this around like we did on this either side. So we'll knock out that bottom piece there. Continue to move along. Seal that up. And what I'd really like to do here is go ahead to break up the wood is in this center here I'm thinking maybe to do a stone strip along the top now it is a two center wide strip so it could do either the very center or we could do a couple cross braces that look like they're just about like here and here hmm either way I think that this is a spot right here I think I'm gonna go with the stone stairs across here I really like this look right here this is good, this is good. We're gonna go ahead and take out these, replace that in, and that's gonna give us just that little bit of fortified look that I'm looking for. So I think that if we finish this up, I hopefully, I hope that you guys will approve. So we'll find out here in just a second if we all mutually like this, or if it's just a terrible idea. Gotta hurry up before it gets dark. There's gonna be 50 mobs in the bottom because it's not lit. <laughs> all I'm doing is creating a mob spawner. That's all I'm doing. I'm gonna go ahead and remove all this uh, makeshift scaffolding. So give me just a second here. And we'll take a look at this thing from a couple different angles and see what we like and what we don't like. What do you guys think? I think it's coming together pretty dang good. Now, I want to go ahead and fill in these uh, top slats up here with uh, some trapdoors. I think that's going to look uh, pretty good. We'll open up a few of them, kind of give us some ventilation and such. Um, and then additionally, I want to come up here and strip just these two logs. One there, one there. And uh, just little things, you know, it's little things that matter. Okay, so let's go ahead and come in here, and I want to raise up these pillars, and I want to see exactly where they're going to hit if I raise them all the way to the roof. And is that something that we aesthetically want or no? Because we're going to be able to see that here. However, is that a bad thing? Um, let's take a peek. I kind of want to fill in like a whole side over here and see what we think as far as uh, what it's going to look like. So let's do that real quick. Okay, so I've got one whole side completely in. Now I want to go out here and take a look. And does this look like something we want to have in our build? Or should we stop it and have the window completely open? Hmm. And uh, if you notice in the background that the forest just progressively keeps getting closer and closer to me, it's because I've had to chop down the forest 15 times now. And I had about a billion saplings. So, yeah, they're just, they're everywhere. Okay, so this is what I'm coming up with. I hope you guys like it. I went ahead and added in all the wood, but then I went ahead and raised it up one from where I pr was previously wanting this to be. I was wanting it to just kind of connect right there. And it just felt so cramped, but after raising it up one more block, it feels a lot more spacious in here. So now all I have to do is just spire up, um, finish out these last little uh, few spots that need logs. And we should be nearing the end. And then, like I said, now this can be our perfectly shaped loft area. And we'll go ahead and include some windows in here and such. And I think this is going to be absolutely fantastic. I'm going to go ahead and leave the pillars in view of the windows for now. 
Um, that might change in the future, but like I said, for now, I feel like it's got a good place and it isn't going to stick out like a sore thumb or anything. Kind of goes along with the aesthetics and it breaks up these really long windows into kind of a few smaller windows. So I think we'll have two varying, uh, styles of entry into each one of these stalls. Um, we'll have one that'll be a smaller, more enclosed, singular fence gate, and then we're going to have one that's made up of nothing but fence gates. Um, horses are a little wider than normal mobs, so they need a little bit wider space. And in order to alleviate problems coming in and out of here constantly, if I want to get one of my horses, I can just go ahead, open up all three of those, let them out, and then seal it back up really doesn't aesthetically look much different than the other side aside from a couple you know legs hanging down here so we're not missing out on too much and i think if we go ahead and match this side with the other we'll be able to see that yeah we won't be able to tell too much of a difference here we'll go ahead and include that there i think we're just going to do the two pens so far for horses and then the other remaining six pens will all be this style here where we can uh, get some sheep, cows, um, you know, etc. into each one of these. Come with me, my friend. We have testing to do. Can we ride in? We can. We can ride in perfectly all the way through. That's wonderful. Test two. Do we fit? We fit. Excellent. That is fantastic. Now, of course, he's going to wander around back here, but we know that he fits through here, and that is perfect. What do you think? You like it? Yeah, he's settling in already. All right. All right, so let's section off each one of our pens here, our stalls. Woohoo! I really really dig it you guys i hope that you feel the same um i am i'm feeling it i really like the way all this turned out i like the way the pens each came out we're going to come back through here do a lot more detail work um a lot more lighting of course uh, but yeah i've got almost everything completely mirrored over from the front to the back i think both the sides are completely done um, this is just looking really great. This far exceeded my expectations when I originally had the design in my head. So, um, I think we're headed in the right direction here. Like I said, I want to do a loft area where we can have hay storage and, uh, just some tools and stuff like that, like a normal barn would have. So our next plan of attack is we need to go and get some cows. So we need to bring them over here. And slowly start to breed them because as soon as we breed them, it's going to take a little while for the game timer to kind of catch up to where we can breed them the second time and so on and so forth. So I want to make sure that we have time and we can do that while we're finishing up our loft area. So let us go out and I cannot remember if we saw any cows nearby or not, but we need to go ahead and store away some of this stuff real quick. And then once we do that, we'll go out, hit the road, and see if we can find a cow or a herd of cows, for that matter, because we need at least two and hopefully a whole bunch. That'd be nice. Okay, let's go over here in the nearby forest. I'm pretty sure at some point early on in the series, we saw some cows over here in this forest. So let us venture out here. See if we can find a couple. If we come across sheep first, then I will take the sheep as well. Even though our... Uh, speak of the devil. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Okay, what else do we have? All right. Can we get... Is there another nearby? Oh, my. Oh, my. We could bring a whole herd back. All right. Let's, uh, let's start with the furthest one out. What is that? Okay. Yes, mm -hmm. come with me, come with me. You will, yeah. uh, you will be very happy and very safe where you're going. I promise. Mm -hmm. Come and get it. Oh, you want it? Mm -hmm. Yummy wheat. Come on, Bessie, Lessie, Tessie, and Jesse. You've got it. All right. Hello? Hello, Mr. Sheep. 
All right, the cows are all in. I think. Can we get all the cows in? Yeah, we're just gonna. Oh, oh. Uh, yeah, the uh, that was easier. <laughs> all right, this is a good place to start. Let's start breeding up our couple cows. Hoorah! The parrots and the bats. Fantastic. Where's this cute little guy? There he is. Hey, fella. All right. We got two babies in the back there. Perfect. The cycle has begun. Now we just need to go find a couple more fresh sheep. Okay, let's go over here and get our sheep. I think just because we killed the lone stallion over there, <laughs> we'll uh, we'll find more. Well, there's Baba Black Sheep, but we need Baba White Sheep. Yes, there we go. All right. Is there two of them over here? Yeah, perfect. You know what? We'll take, we'll take a few of them. Why not? Come on, brown sheep. Where's that black sheep? Oh my, there's another white sheep over there. Oh, they're, they're breeding without me even having to do anything. Where are they coming from? Come on, ladies. Come on. On we go. Right, slow and steady, ladies. Slow and steady. All right, everyone stay away from the lava now. We don't want any lamp chops. Keep it moving. I see it. Do you see it? Come on, in we go, ladies. In we go, in we go. I'll swap that out real quick. And boom. We are in. Nice. Come here, it's feeding time now after that long journey. Woohoo! Alright. Y'all ready to, to breed again? No, not yet. Okay. We gotta go to sleep. Hold on. Alright, so we've got our cows started. And now we've got some sheep. So, these pens are pretty small, so I'm not gonna jam pack too many in there or anything. But I've got some plans to work out ways that we can uh, get a large amount of meat and leather and such. So, but yeah, let's continue on here. No carrots at all. Dang. No carrots or potatoes for that matter. I don't know. Can we go over here and just rope a pig? I think I've seen some pigs along this area over here. Oh, what do we have over here? Work it. Whoa, wait. Whoa. Don't look at him. Oh, good grief. We've got plenty of cows over here, which is good. You know, as a matter of fact. Dun dun. Dun 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 dun. Dun 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 dun. There's quite a few uh cool little cave systems that I've seen around this area kind of dotted about oh. oh oh my god guys what is that i think i found their base don't see any of them it looks uninhabited let's approach with a little bit of caution here there are men here oh there's hordes of men i don't think we can do this we can't overtake that many men we need to mark this location and come back to it. Let's just get away before they see us. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa. Uh, oh my god, that would have killed me. I didn't even see that. I didn't even see that. This is crazy. Look, if we would have... Oh, that could have been us. Just splat. Let's go ahead and get up out of here. I don't want these sheep or anything. I'm still looking for a pig. We definitely need to find a pig. Yes! There we go. Along the river here. And we don't have any potatoes or carrots, which is unfortunate, but I'm pretty sure I can just... Yeah. No, I was thinking maybe we could go to... 
our village. I don't remember seeing any carrots over there, but who knows? They might have had some growing over there, some carrots or potatoes. And if so, we could just help ourselves to a few of them real quick. And as we're passing by, we'll grab some of these. Because we need all the paper we can get. Come on, Professor Oinks. Let's go. Now, they won't respond to beetroot, will they? <gasps> they will. We're going to bring you back some friends. Yeah. Okay. Now, we have to go back over there and grab us our next couple pigs now that we know about our beetroot situation. And we'll gather those up and bring them all the way back over here. Here, piggy, piggy, piggy. You're not a piggy, piggy. Ah, come with me. The professor would like to meet you. We have to save them. Hello! Come down! We offer salvation! Everybody in. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yes, 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 yes. Good job. All right. Now let's feed them. Look at this, guys. This is fantastic. We've got our sheep, pigs, cows, and our best friend. So I want to finish up the uh, the upper rafters here, the upper loft, and uh, get that done. And we're almost finished with this project, guys. This was uh, this was good. We need to do a little bit more lighting, and I think that's about it. Besides the windows there as well. All right, so we've got a couple windows put in up there. And I want to go ahead and make the loft now so we can make sure and finalize our little bit of detailing and stuff like that we want to put up there. So I'm going to make a few ladders um, because that's going to be our primary way of getting up and down into the loft area is just some ladders. So we're going to make a good chunk of those. Whoa, 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 whoa. Um, we've got a problem, guys. We've got a problem. They're back. They're back, they're back, they're back. Oh man. I can't believe it. They probably followed me. They probably followed me over. Yeah, they know right where I'm at. Well guys, it's time to protect our lands once again. We will not be stopped. They're not going to take us back. Not this time. Not ever. Evasive maneuvers. And yeah! Fools. Once again, you've been bested. Two. That's all the men you brought was two. We'll just go ahead and hang this one here. Not as a symbol that we're part of their disgusting clan of thieves and kidnappers, but that we, we have destroyed yet another bannerman. Just as a reminder to the others. Remember, no mercy. Okay, so now that I've taken out the center beam, I think that's going to give us ample room in order to put in a couple ladders for us to be able to access the top floor. So I'm going to go ahead and put those up now. Okay, so I'm going to take a bunch of half slabs. Now that we've got our ladders up there, and I'm going to put them on the top portion. Whoops. On the top part of this block here. That will give us a little bit of uh, headroom down below. And it will also allow us to place items or blocks on top of this floor like I wanted to. Like some hay bales and such. Alright, perfect. So we've got everything filled in kind of where I want it to now. And I think in these, uh, these spaces here, I'm going to uh, either have some trapdoors or some fencing. So let's see what a uh, fence looks like through here. You know, I think we're just going to leave it nice and simple, guys. I like that fence look a lot. It'll prevent you from having any accidents, you know. Um, yeah, I think this is going to be good. And I have a cool idea with one of these ends here. I kind of want to put, like, some kind of, like, a pulley system. All right, up into the ceiling to go. And let's finish up this top portion with all the fencing for safety. Pop, pop, pop. Pop, pop, pop. Kind of looks like a chain pulley system we've got working. Yeah, I think we'll put another pulley system right here. 
put that right on there. And that kind of gives us the aesthetic like there's maybe like a, a runner system that goes along here where these can pick up and move the hay bales along the top of the rafters here for transportation, loading, unloading, stuff like that. So we'll go ahead and add another chain to that one. We'll keep this one short, give us some variation a little bit in here. And we need to start sticking some of our lights to get this a little more safe. So I think besides, of course, not dying here, and a few minor decorations, I think we're almost done here, guys. We've got a few more species of animal to put inside of our pens, but that and a little bit of lighting, some minor decoration, I think that's pretty darn good for the day. I think we've uh, we've managed to accomplish quite a bit with this build, which, and I really, really like it. I think it turned out fantastic. So let's uh, let's wait for this wheat to grow up down here. And as soon as the wheat grows, then we can go ahead and harvest it, make some hay bales, we'll put in those final decorations, and then we can move on to the second half of our goals for this episode, which is a one-hour mining session. The reason why we're going to do a one-hour mining session is because we are preparing for our episode five big goal. I think every time we do five episodes i want to do the fifth episode is something with a little bit more fire a little bit more uh danger involved into it so episode five you can probably guess on where we're going to go we are headed to the nether so with that being said we have got to make sure that we have plenty of good armor and plenty of enchantments now i know a lot of youtubers will just kind of zip through their their mining sessions and you know suddenly they have stacks of diamonds and stacks of enchanted gear i'm not going to quite do that now i'm going to time lapse the mining session however we are going to highlight times where i do find some good stuff and if we come across anything interesting more abandoned mine shafts or our third golden enchanted apple or anything like that, then we'll definitely cut back to that. But let's wrap this up real quick here at the barn, and then we can move on to our final goal for the day, like I said, and that is going to be mining away and trying to get as geared as we can to head into, for me, one of the most difficult places in the game. I tend to always end up dying in the nether, so I want to be extra prepared this time so we do not have any mistakes. Yeah, I think that looks really cool. So let's add up two of those, like he's stacking them up over here for us. Perfect. Should we do something like this? Yes. All right, and I think we're going to call it good on the build there. That is, uh, that's a lot better than what I expected, to be honest with you. I really like the way this came together. We've got a good amount of stuff accumulated in here. Not bad at all. So, as I finish up all this organization and get us prepared to head down to Y11 for our trip, what do you guys think is going to be the final tally for diamonds whenever we come out of here? Um, I'm going to take my guess and say 20. I think that's a good round number is 20. So, what do you guys think? Pause the video before we get down there. Let me know what you think. You think we're going to end up with more? Less? I sure hope more, i tell you that, but... Let's, uh, let's see what we can come out of there with. So let me get this done, and then I'll be right back with you guys. So just through a tunnel that's very close to our uh, hole in the ground where we access our mine here is this location over here I found. I think this is going to be <laughs> obviously a pretty good area to start. I mean, it's uh, kind of littered up with little pieces of resources here and there. So I'm going to go ahead and... Seal that off and work my way around here. Oh my lord. Of course we would have a friend. Why wouldn't we? You want to help me mine, dude? Oh yeah, this is a good spot to go mining, guys. Look at all this. Yeah. yeah. Alright, guys. So, I'm going to go ahead and get it started. I think it's time to stop dilly-dallying around. I'm going to go ahead and start our one-hour mining session with these resources here that I told you about. I ended up going down, uh, where did we go? Here. We then went down the rest of that river there. Nothing exposed thus far, but as I do this area, I'm going to wind back down the river. 
and mine up all those resources and uh, we'll see if we come up with some diamonds so fingers crossed guys here we go one hour mining session starts now I just realized I built walls a mile high to protect my heart but now I'm Well, I think we did pretty well. We're down to the last five minutes of our uh, hour-long mining session. And this is the cave system that I kind of uncovered out of one of the branches of the mine. And I'm just going to continue to use up the last five minutes to gather um, just uh, visible resources that are already on the surface here. So I can uh, retain a little bit of the durability of this pickaxe because it's... It's going to go fast. This is a completely unenchanted one, and I think a lot of us get spoiled with the fact that... Oh, my God! Oh! Oh, God! Uh, let's just hide in a corner here and recuperate and uh, think about all the mistakes that we made in our life. With this last bit of time down here in the, uh, the mine shaft, so I think I'm going to go ahead and gather up our first bits of obsidian. And that way we can make our nether portal as well as our enchanting table once we uh, get up topside. So there we go. Ice bucket challenge. And there it is. The enchanting table that we want so bad. So let me finish gathering up this obsidian because it's going to take a second. And then I'll get right back with you guys. Alright, so I got 20 pieces of obsidian. So I'm going to head back over here like I said. And, uh, and store this stuff away. Let's see what we got as a total. There she be, my booty. Not too bad. We got a little over five, almost five and a half stacks of redstone. Another over stack and a half of iron. And whoever guessed lucky number 13 as far as the diamonds, you're the winner today. So, of course, I didn't have fortune. We could have probably turned that 13 into more than 20, which was my guess. But... I just figured it'd be fun to just have an early on, simple mining session, nothing too crazy. Okay, let's head back up to the top. We need to get all these uh, precious resources stored away for safekeeping, as well as we need to figure out what we're going to do with, ow, good lord almighty, with our new diamonds. Um, we have a few choices to make. And so we need to decide what we're going to craft before we head off to the hardest fight of our lives thus far, the nether. It's going to be one heck of a trip, I'll tell you that. All right, that is a beautiful sight, you guys. We did extremely well down there, and this does not include the uh, nearly two stacks of iron I've got smelting up over there as well. So we'll get our sword made. We'll get our boots made and get our helmet made then we'll have two for our enchanting table i think that's a great setup cover me in diamonds i think we did really really great today to end up preparing for the nether with all that being said, I think it's a really good spot to go ahead and call it there for the day. We've managed to do a great deal during this episode, in all honesty, maybe a little bit too much. I, uh, I think I'll go ahead and take this as a lesson, and I'll be structuring my videos just slightly differently in the future. I feel like this was a little bit crowded. We did get the barn done. We got more mining done. We're preparing for the nether, so... We managed to just do an absolute ton, ton of stuff during this episode, so 
Um, we'll see. We'll see in the future. I'm still new to all this. I'm still learning. All y'all's feedback is greatly appreciated. I love you guys so much for that. So keep it up, please. I appreciate it. Um, all comments are great comments as long as they're constructive. But thank you guys so, so much for swinging by again, watching with me, hanging out. Um, like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.